Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, today we are talking hookahs. Um, I'm in this corner of my border and I've got five hookahs here and um, there are some things I need to do to take better care of them. So I've been doing some research and here are uh, my best tips for looking after hookahs. So hookahs are um, mostly and largely a woodland um, plant and so like dappled shade. There are some varieties that like full sun. Um, I've actually got two here, Hookera Southern Comfort and Hookera, and Hookera um, Electric Lime, which on the label says they prefer full sun or partial shade. Now this corner is shade most of the day and then get sun and then get some sun at the end of the day. So um, I don't know if that's good enough for it and maybe that's why it's not looking its best. Um, but there are a few things I'm gonna do first to see if that helps them and then if I need to move them, I'll move them. Now as a general rule of thumb, um, the darker the leaves, the more tolerant they are of the sun. So if you're not sure where to put them, dappled shade is best but the darker the leaves, the more tolerant of sun they are. So that's a good indication as to where you can place them in your garden. So they have long, thin flowers, and they flower in the summer months, June, July, and August. Um, but their leaves are what most people um, buy them for and use them for. They range from sort of a really dark burgundy type color right through to your greens and um, even sort of silvery blue sort of colors. So their foliage can be really, really beautiful as well. They can tolerate sort of um, wet soil, but it has to be well draining. Um, and they don't like to be too dry either. So just a normal sort of soil, not too wet, not too dry. Now in the autumn, you can sort of tidy up the foliage after it's flowered, um, sort of clear away any dead leaves. Um, I'm gonna do that now in spring. You can do it in spring as well. Um, just because mine, I haven't taken good care of them. So I'm gonna give them a tidy up now. And after you've had these for sort of five years, you can actually lift them and divide them and cultivate new plants. Now, the other thing which can cause some damage to hookahs is that they have very shallow roots. So if it gets really cold in winter, all the water at the top of the soil sort of freezes, expands, and it pushes that root ball up. It's called frost heaving, where that plant actually sort of comes out of the soil. And what you can do, if you find that you've got that, um, you can just mulch and put loads of mulch on top to sort of keep that um, moisture in and to keep that root ball covered. Or you can actually dig it up and dig a deeper hole and replant it. Now, if you're planting these in containers, um, hookahs actually are susceptible to the vine weevil. And there's a good way to check whether you've got vine weevils in your um, hookah pots. If you gently tug some of the stems, if they come away really easily, then there's a good chance that you've got vine weevils because they tend to eat the roots. So if you think you have, then take the plant out of the pot. You can get rid of all the vine weevils. You can even, you can even wash off sort of the eggs, make sure there's nothing left and then repot it. And hopefully it will come back if it hasn't been damaged too much. So my hookahs aren't looking their best, so I'm gonna give them some love and attention now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back some of that old foliage, some of those sticks that are sticking out and just neaten it up. Now I think two of mine have lifted slightly. They definitely seem prouder of the soil than the rest of them. Um, that's this one and this one. So I am going to um, dig those up. I'm gonna add a bit of fish blood and bone to the bottom of the hole and to replant them deeper into the soil. So I dug up the other one as well and I've just dug a deeper hole 
put some blood flesh and bone in the bottom just to feed those roots and uh, replanted it. Um, I've given them a good water because I've disturbed them and now um, what you can do as well is you can mulch around the top that keeps the moisture in but try not to put too much mulch in the actual crown of the plant otherwise um, it will rot. So there are some tips to keep your hookahs happy. I'm going to be keeping an eye on these. Some are looking good, some are not. So I'll keep my eye on them and if I don't think they're in the right place, I will move them. But at least I've done something to try and take care of them now. If you like watching these videos, then please, please subscribe. It really does help. Um, and I'll see you next time.